It's a problem that gets worse every time this year. Homeless people not only sleeping on the sidewalks, but, but really camping like right in the middle of downtown Portland. Yeah, you can see it downtown. More homeless camps have been popping up in Chapman Square right next to City Hall. We want to know what the city is doing about it. Tim Becker spent the day getting answers, and he joins us live now. Tim? Yeah, Jeff, you know, it is hardly like it was here during the whole Occupy movement thing, but uh, this area is still home to quite a number of homeless people lately, a sizable number. The city is well aware of it, they tell me, but I also found out that they'll never do a clean sweep of the place, use force to move everybody out all at once. Instead, they go about it more methodically. Well, I come here sometimes, and sometimes I go and do other things. I met Shasta, her hula hoop, and a few of her friends this morning. They were all living right, right over there. Across from City Hall, where I asked Dana Haynes, the mayor's spokesman, about the problem that he sees every day. This is video that we shot yesterday in Chapman Square, where we saw fences turned into clotheslines, litter lining the sidewalks, and people literally making themselves at home. That park over there was just not full of people, but there were a lot of people there that were camping out, basically. Yeah, absolutely. In the parks, it's the park rangers. On sidewalks, it's the police. And they come and say, you know, you cannot make this a permanent abode. You can't have a permanent residence with things here. Haynes tells me rangers and police do pay regular visits to enforce camping rules. Shasta can vouch for that. We got harassed earlier today. What is harassed? What is they got like? woke up, and I'm not exactly sure, but like the cops came and like took a bunch of people's stuff. If you don't move in two, three, four days, we can come and tell you we're going to move your stuff and we're going to take it and store it for 60 days. That's one way the city deals with the problem, an issue city council hears about from business owners all the time. So they've developed a three point solution. First, they offer services to the homeless, but I've learned only about 10% accept the help. They're also working to increase affordable housing. And third, they enforce the rules. Though Shasta tells me she's been here every day now for a while. Usually they don't mess with me. They come here every morning from what I hear. We're trying to find some answers and we recognize that we're not doing enough. Well, Haynes tells me the city has increased its funding to try and find more affordable housing by $2.2 million this year. So we plan to follow up and see if that does, in fact, help ease what you're seeing down here right now. Reporting live downtown Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.